leaders seem not to recognize that there is no reputable scientific data in the world today that suggests that anybody is morally culpable for being gay, that anybody chooses their sexual orientation. We just awaken to who we are. We don't choose. How many of those of you in this audience who are heterosexual remember the day you chose to be heterosexual? I didn't choose to be heterosexual. I just woke up one morning when I was somewhere between 12 and 13 and suddenly girls didn't seem obnoxious to me any longer. I didn't know what happened to bring that change about, but I know I began to do some strange things like comb my hair and take baths a little more frequently and use deodorant. I'd never used deodorant up until that moment, but I would have done anything to get female attention. And if somebody had said to me, oh, you must be heterosexual, I would have said, I don't know what that word means. See, we didn't have homosexuals in the South, so we didn't know what a heterosexual was. And my church taught me that homosexual people were either mentally sick, so they ought to be cured. Michelle Obachman's husband still practices that strange kind of medicine. And if they were not mentally sick, they had to be morally depraved because they chose an evil lifestyle. And guess what? They quoted the Bible to prove it. Now that took some work. They quoted Leviticus. You'd be surprised how many times people write me and say, have you not read Leviticus? Well, I've read Leviticus more times than they know and I've read the rest of the Bible too. Leviticus 18 says that homosexuals are an abomination, and Leviticus 20 says they ought to be put to death. But before you go quoting that, you better look at some of the other parts of the Bible. In the book of Deuteronomy, it says that if a child is willfully disobedient to his or her parents and talks back to his or her parents, they ought to be put to death. Raise your hands how many of you would still be alive. The book of Leviticus says, if you commit adultery, you shall be put to death. But I will not ask you to raise your hands if you would still be alive. It says, if you worship a false god, you shall be put to death. But who's going to tell you who the true God is? And one of my favorites that I don't suspect many people know because I've never heard it preached about. In Leviticus 20, it says, you shall be put to death if you have sex with your mother-in-law. How many of you ever heard a sermon on that topic? People aren't going to preach about what most people can't imagine doing. And the reason you laughed is you just tried to imagine it. Be careful before you start quoting the Bible literally.